today uh, I have a little bit of extra time, so uh, we don't want to get it so hot in the house here, so we're going to uh, make chicken and put it out in the grill. Chicken again. Um, this time it's going to be something a little extra special. Not an extra special bird. Some cheapo brand probably. Some uh, pure canola oil. That's to rub all around the skin to get the rub the stick. Uh, hey, gloves. Check them out. Uh, they might have a website here somewhere. But we'll check them online. Very good stuff. I got my uh, poultry shears. And this comes especially from Melissa Witt. She sent this to me, uh, it has to be two months ago. This and another rub for uh, pork, beef, and chicken. This has a citrus flavor, she says, in it. And uh, Melissa, I'm so sorry to get this video out so soon. Uh, weekends get tight and this and that. And uh, I was caring for my father before he passed away recently. So it, it, I just didn't have the time. And I didn't, I didn't want to not do you justice with this. So this is Melissa Witt. Check her out on YouTube. She's out there. She makes all kinds of good food and good grub. So we'll uh, get going on this and uh, we'll bring it back in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so we're back. We got it uh, rinsed off a little bit. Got the giblets out. The neck bone's actually on this thing, but that'll come right out with the backbone. And we're gonna end up cooking that too. So uh, what you gotta do is take your poultry shears, feel in there on the, for the backbone, and get on the uh, one side of the backbone and just work your way up. Watch your fingers. And uh, it, it comes out relatively easy. Sometimes you hit a snag here and there. And there it is. Right there's the backbone. Now we're going to cut that out from this side. And for whatever reason, I always have to go this way. I guess that's because I'm right handed. And just stay to that one side of the backbone. This will cut through all the other bones. I don't know if it cut through a turkey. I've never tried a turkey. Uh oh, we're hitting some heavy, heavy stuff here. Well, it should cut through. Just be careful of your fingers because it'll cut right through that. All right. So then we're going to take this, wash this off, pat it dry, maybe cut some of this stuff out. This is kind of nasty. And just generally look over the chicken, take off stuff that you may or may not want. You don't want a lot of extra fat. I mean, chicken's a relatively lean meat, so you want a little bit. But. And just in case some of these bone fragments uh, came off under the skin or something here, even though we typically you don't eat this side of the chicken, the meat's on the outside. But we're going to give it a little rinse, and then we'll bring it back when we're uh, throwing on the rope. All right, so here we are. We're back. I'm just going to take a little bit of oil, massage it on to the chicken, and give the rub something to adhere to. Plus, this will help uh, crunch up the skin. Now, of course, I would recommend eating all of the skin, but a little piece here and there is not a bad thing. And we'll give that a little bit. Flip her over. And just rub that around, get it here and there, to and fro. And then we got Melissa, Melissa Witt's rub. And, uh,. Let's try to sprinkle that on and give it a uh, pretty liberal sprinkling. Rub it around a little bit. Get on old Henry at his wings here. Rub it all along the inside. Well, that smells really good, I'll tell you what. And I don't I can't say in my Nose probably isn't good, but I can't say as I smell the citrus that she was talking about. But it might be a thing that comes out in the taste. And a little bit more up here towards the top. And we'll give her a flip. Now if I have some left over, I'll put it on that backbone too. Just want to make sure I get this part of the chicken. Get her all laying out real nice. There you go, honey. Shame about rub is, rub goes everywhere. And you waste some of it, but we'll try to 
slather the chicken around in this pan and get as much on there as we possibly can. And you know what, that might be enough because we're not super freaks about uh, a lot of seasoning. Because a lot of times your rubs have a lot of salt in them and I'm trying to watch that kind of stuff. So, that's what we're doing right there. And we will uh, go out and get a good fire going. Bring you back when we're ready to put it on the fire. And, uh, that's what we're doing. Bye. It's little lumberjack. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. About to take a video. All right. Uh, here we are outside. It's gonna be no big deal. I'm not going to uh, put this bird over the direct flames. I'm just gonna lay it. Not real far back, but not real far away. And we'll put the uh, we'll put the breast closer because they say the breast has to go longer or something to that effect. And. Uh, We'll do like that, and then we got our backbone. I'm gonna lay that off to the side, and then uh, take our giblets. We're pan right about there, maybe. Dump them down in there. Got a little bit of oil in there, and uh, there's that neck bone I had. Actually, no, the neck bone's over here. What the heck? I got an extra neck bone? Whatever. So there we are. We're going to let that cook for a little while, and uh, that'll be that. I'm also going to throw some uh, apple wood in here. It's a citrus-flavored uh, uh, rub. Apple is not citrus necessarily, of course, but it is a fruit. So I thought, eh, let's throw a little apple in there. I usually don't do that on chicken. You don't hear many people doing it on chicken. But I'm doing it because it's the only thing I got right now. And I want to throw some smoke on this. So there we go. So uh, probably in about a half an hour, I'll check on this and just see what's going on. You don't want to open this thing too many times. Because uh, if you're looking, you're not cooking. And uh, we'll bring it back when we feel it's appropriate. Thanks for watching. What about all that smoke wood? Uh, the horror. I got to finish this bag first. The horror. All right, welcome back. It looks like our uh, giblets and our backbone are done. They feel like it to me. And maybe that backbone will leave on for a little bit longer. It's got a, it's still a little loosey juicy. But the um, giblets, I already have one. They are ready to go. We'll get that pan off of here. Get that cool down over there. And then uh, I want to throw a little more smoke wood on. Again, this is apple. It's the only thing I have. And we're going to check on the water pan Then it's underneath the chicken. I've been finding I've been forgetting to put a water pan in there to kind of give it some humidity. And the water pan does look like it has plenty of water in there. So I think we're pretty good that way. And we're going to let it go for a little longer. Yeah, this definitely is not ready yet. Definitely. So uh, there we go. Uh, about probably another half an hour. I think this this might be done. I'll at least start taking temps by then All right, welcome back. This chicken is just about done. We're gonna do a no barbecue sauce We're gonna just taste Melissa Witt's spices on here her uh, rub mix and uh, The only thing I want to do because I got I'm close on the breast is turn the breast around this way and uh, the thighs, they can go up a little bit higher. We're going to let go another 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes or so. We're going to pull this neck bone off of here. And uh, that'll be that then. Then we'll uh, take it back inside and uh, let it rest for a little bit and cut her up. This chicken is done. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And when you touch it, you can just see the juices. Look at the juices moving around underneath that skin. Oh my goodness. What we're going to do is we're going to take this inside the... Actually, maybe a minute. It's not, oh yeah, there's juices. We're going to take this inside the house, let it sit underneath some aluminum foil and let it all reincorporate. And then we'll uh, get a plate full. And uh, this ought to be really good. I, I'm actually looking forward to this. And uh, that, that rub that Melissa Wick gave us, it's clinging to it. And I'm going to definitely have myself some skin on this one. Now don't forget, I rub uh, the rub in on the underside as well. 
So we'll be sucking on some bone. Oh, this is going to be dynamite. All right. Well, we'll see you when we do a little taste test in the house. Thanks a lot for watching. Yep. Okay. Melissa Witt's rub, that's W-H-I-T-T, -T. but boy, oh boy, this, this looks dynamite. I had some of this backbone, I was tearing off of this, and you see some smoke on there, so it's awesome. That rub, whatever she's got in that, I'm begging her for the recipe, because that stuff is delicious. We got baked beans, we got some broccoli, as usual, a little bit of rice. We're having a pretty big meal tonight. So I'm going to give it a shot. I got myself some thigh meat, some of this chicken skin like I said I wanted to check out, and I got the breast meat which just, it, it's, it's so moist. So we're going to start with her rub on this chicken skin. Just freaking awesome. I'm not a connoisseur, I'm a kind of sore. I can't say as I taste the citrus, and if I do, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, but I'm telling you, this stuff tastes good. She, she'll sell this stuff. Now we're going to try a little piece off the thigh. Just falling apart my mouth. I'm not a breast man. Let's see if Melissa can convert me. Oh my God. Me, Melissa, we did something to this thing that made it right. Excellent. Thank you very much, Melissa. That is Melissa Witt on YouTube. Please subscribe to her. Very good person. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, another favorite for me, for my 126 subscribers, check out Keith Bettag. Last name B-E-T-T-A-G. He's really close to... I think it's 4,000 subscribers. I don't know what that guy is. He's got way more than me. But he wants to try to do that over the weekend. So if you like what I'm doing here, check out him. Like and subscribe to him. He wants to take it over the edge this weekend. Thank you very much for watching. And stick around. I'm going to be coming out with some more videos and doing some things. we got something coming up that we've been talking about for two years now, me and Mrs. Lumberjack. And it's a little homage to one of our favorite actors. And his name would be Ernest Borgnine. And that's coming up soon. We're, we're going to do a little something special for Ernest Borgnine, one of our favorite actors. Thanks a lot.